Welcome. Automan meets Manfred Fitzgerald, who is the head of the uh, Genesis brand worldwide. We are here at the launch of the new G90, um, the uh, uh, Genesis brand's new car in the region. Uh, Manfred, can you tell me something about what Genesis is about? Well, first and foremost, uh, we are a new entrant in the luxury segment. Uh, we are a brand which is uh, positioned um, and trying to bring across a new value proposition, and that is deeply rooted in our defined DNA. Uh, you know, as I started out at the beginning of this year in January, taking over this new uh, position, it was all about who are we as a brand and what do we want to achieve? So we focused about being an authentic and credible brand means being yourself. So therefore, we had defined our DNA, which is rooted in being audacious. I think that's an incredible character trait, uh, being progressive. And last but not least, also being distinctly Korean. So that's what we're from, that's where we're from, and, and that's what we also want to instill into this brand. Would you be seen as an upstart entrant in the luxury brands? I think that is fair to say. I mean, we're just now um, not even a year old. The brand was launched on November 4th last year in Seoul. So, uh, yeah, we're going to have our first birthday in a short while. And uh, within this year, you've launched, you launched the G90 worldwide. Uh, it's just entered the region here. You mentioned earlier during your presentation that the G80 would be joining it later on in the year. Um, how do you see the roadmap ahead? It, are you um, stay, uh, sticking to your uh, medium-term strategy within this or um, um, c considering the, the region's difficulties, are you going to have to rejig uh, your positioning? No, I don't think so. I think we have a very well thought out plan, uh, which we're adhering to. Uh, we started obviously with our domestic market and having a huge success with the G90 now. Um, so we have gained in the first uh, six months over 70% of market share there. So we feel very confident about that, what we're doing and how we're doing it. We have just uh, launched the brand also in the US. So the first cars are hitting the showroom right now, the G90 and the G80. And as you just mentioned, we will come here also with the G80 in November. So uh, despite all what is happening in the markets and trends back and forth, uh, we are very, very confident about that, what we have uh, laid out as a plan and are following this. All right. Um, I'll just take, uh, take you back a little before when you joined the company here. Um, the brand, the Genesis name has been uh, with uh, Hyundai for a long time. Hyundai Motor Company has made a very distinct shift to uh, having Genesis as a standalone brand. But um, the transition of where Genesis has been and uh, where it's going in the future has been, like, it's, it seems like it's been well thought out over a very long period. Are you playing too much for the long game here? Or um, uh, would it be better for you to, let's say, uh, position Genesis completely on its own? That's what we're doing. Uh, we are uh, positioning ourselves as an independent uh, organization, as an independent brand. Uh, so there will not be any kind of uh, connections in that sense uh, with the big mother company. So we are very, very um, conscious about uh, what it means becoming um, a very considered uh, entrant into this uh, segment. So uh, what you alluded to, I think, uh, yes, it was a very conscious move of the corporation to set up a standalone luxury brand. And to your point, it is an investment. Uh, this won't happen overnight. Uh, I think the best way to do that is by producing and designing incredible emotional products which the customers can relate to. Um, Again, now, typically, you're going to be looking at a completely different set of customers uh, to the traditional uh, customers that uh, your organization has targeted. Are you bringing in any new outside skills in order to be able to ramp up into that? Uh, of course, you're one of the new skills uh, <laughs> <laughs> directly there. But uh, in terms of um, on the ground with dealerships, with um, the point of sales uh, presence, uh, what, what's happening on the ground in order to change your uh, positioning? You will see a lot of new ideas, uh, which we are uh, realizing step by step. The first one, actually as we speak, will happen at the end of this week, where we will have in Seoul our first Genesis dedicated uh, showroom. That is in a mall called Starfield Mall in Seoul. So along the way, 
Uh, you will definitely have uh, new ideas being realized. And as you say, we will have also bringing in um, outside talent uh, to supplement our, our very, very strong team already. And um, again, um, in terms of technology, you again alluded in the morning's presentation that uh, new drive trains or uh, new, um, uh, let's say, new propulsion and um, uh, like you wanted to keep yourself distinct in terms of what the brand offered in, in terms of products. Um, but with the G90, what exactly have you brought in new uh, other than the fact that it is, it is a completely new car? It is a completely new car. I think it will be stretching too far saying that this is now a revolution in the segment. It is not, but it is definitely a, a competitive car in that segment where we feel very, very comfortable of competing head to head with all the incumbent players. Now, looking forward, however, uh, yes, alternative propulsions uh, is something that every OEM has to think about. Mm -hmm. um, so we are not an exception. Uh, we would like to embark on this uh, from the beginning uh, to craft our future uh, on our own. So we see that there is a, a tremendous opportunity there uh, to distinguish yourself from the other competitors. So would any of your first generation of products have um, pi um, piloted drive products um, or um, hybrid drive trains or let's say all electric? Good question. Stay tuned and we will surprise you. All right. Um, on, on, a, on a closing note, I, what I need to ask you is, you have come in at a juncture where pretty much the, the, f the forward looking path has been set for uh, what Genesis is going to do over the first couple of years. Um, would you have done anything different? Uh, yes and no. Uh, it is true that there was a plan in place. Uh, I think due to my expertise and my experience, I could help uh, craft uh, the plan also for longer term. So uh, I don't think that I would have done anything at the outset differently than it was already in place. So I'm very fortunate, number one, having a great brand name, uh, Genesis, and number two, already starting with such a great product as the G90. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thanks, Thank man.